given any thought to playing Laurie on him today, or you just want to? No, he um, he's not. I don't even think we'll probably use him off the bench either. We're kind of shooting to, for Tuesday, hopefully after tomorrow and the day off. Then um, you know, if there's enough still going on that we don't want to, you know, I'm hoping that with these extra days that we'll kind of get him healed up. With you know, we always talk about guys that are at the back of their baseball court. With, with Duvall, was it? Do you just think that maybe the spring not having spring training and a combination of things? Yeah, um, could be. I mean, it's it's we know how important, and I've seen that when guys miss a lot of spring training, man, it's hard to play catch up. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. It, it's just, you know, you, like you say, it's got the back of a baseball card, so you just kind of keep hoping that that thing surfaces at some point. Like you pointed out, really solid, normal until a few weeks ago. Now yeah, he yeah. He just kind of, you know, he's fighting through it. I mean, like I say, he's probably hitting too much and everything because I know he's in there working his tail off every day to try and get that thing going. And, and uh, um, but, yeah, he's got to keep fighting the fight. Do you think it can be easier for a guy like Arcio when they get, you know, such a – that position, he's got so many chances to make an impact defensively? struggling offensively still doing yeah, I mean it's just like with him as long as he keeps playing that defense I mean I've seen him do it um, offensively so much and you know it's like a lot of these guys I mean they all pretty much had career years last year <laughs> it's um <clears throat> RC had the number one play of the day on ESPN yesterday I, was, I didn't even see that ball that thing was hit so hard I couldn't even I didn't even realize where it was till I saw him on the ground yeah Yeah, I mean, I, Ozzie made a really nice play on the, on the receiving end also. I'm curious when uh, it's a matchup like Max Fried and, and Paul Skeen, there's obviously a lot of buzz about it. Did, how, does that translate into the clubhouse? Like, do you guys? Oh, no, and everybody knows. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it, you always, you kind of, you know, you get excited about something like that and seeing, you know, we haven't seen this guy, so. Be nice, you know. Be good to see him on TV and video and all that. But you know, it's kind of nice to see a up and coming. You know, he's a potential star in this game. So, um, you know, Max already is. So, uh, it, it should be fun. You never know how these things might turn out, but it should be a. You know, you look forward to it going into him. Looking at Austin last night, he didn't. You know, went a long time without homering against lefties and. Um, you know, now he's got four in his last 12 at-bats against him. And Olsen, it, you know, he's another guy who has struggled now against right-handers. Is it, it, that just kind of been like this first half? There's a lot yeah. You can't explain. No, I know. It's just that's one of them things, just why we keep coming back. You know, we all are um, – that's the beauty of baseball, I think. There's nothing predictable or you never know what might happen. And um, – yeah, it's just one of them things. I, and those guys don't know the reason why either. You know, I mean, if they did, they wouldn't get to that point. I mean, that's just – it's just – I think it just goes to show how hard this game is to play and how easy they, sometimes these guys make it seem. But it's a really tough game to play. Here they go. Oh, kiddo. Thanks. Ian will pitch for Augusta tomorrow. I'm sorry? Ian.